quick tutorial on how to set the Z's using the probe. This arm right here is the probe. And that little uh, sensor, that's the sensor that I was trying to draw on the uh, whiteboard last time in class. So this is another way that you can set your Z's on a CNC lathe, uh, on a hot CNC lathe. So I'm gonna start with tool number one right here. I'm just gonna come in close about an inch away from the probe. Slow down my feet rate to where I'm almost, maybe about 25 thousandths of an inch. If you guys can see here, see you guys, we can get closer so that they can see. It's only a very little bit of a distance that is left and that's the distance that you're just gonna jog onto the probe. So we're gonna go on to your um, hand jog button right here. You're gonna go to hand jog and okay. select the one thousand increments. Once that's selected, you're just gonna press the Z minus and right here is gonna start moving until, the, until it makes contact with the probe and the probe is gonna be. And when it does that, it'll establish a new Z number. So I'm gonna keep this in here so that you guys can see how that number is gonna change. I'm pressing the Z minus right now and right now it, went, it made contact. So now you guys can go back. You guys remember how to do the next tool? You have to go next tool. Now we're gonna set tool number three. And now I want you guys to have a view of when the tool makes contact with the pro so that you guys can see that it just automatically stops. So that's about 25 thousandths away from the sensor. I'm gonna press my Z button. And there it stops. There's a small beep that it makes uh, that will allow you to hear that the probe has made contact. So now we're gonna set our boring bar. Getting close, 1,000 increments. About 25,000 away. Press the Z minus, keep it pressed until it stops. Now you can, can hear the beep. I'm gonna go to the next tool. And see the neat feature about you doing it this method is that you don't have to keep going to your offset page or press the C face measure, the machine automatically records that measurement for you. So it makes your setup really, uh, it makes for a really fast setup. So now we're gonna go ahead and set the X's on it. I'm gonna index back to tool number one. And you're gonna do the same process, but now on your x-axis. So I'm coming up to it. I'm staying about 25 thousandths away. Selecting the 1,000 increments. There it is. Retracting my turret. Going to my next tool. 1,000 increments, once that you get close, 25 thousandths away, wait until it beeps. There we go. Back it off, next tool. Now the X on the boring bar, the cutting edge is on this side of the turret, where the only tool is on this side. So you just use the opposite side of the Sensor. So I'm going to go to this side, 1,000 increments. You don't want to accidentally ram into that sensor because it will break it and they're expensive to replace. We're going 25,000 away and all the way until it stops. Now we're gonna set the next tool. And this is our last tool for this specific setup. Getting close to it, about 25 thousandths away. 
I'm gonna wait for it to be. There it is. So now all my tools are set to the pro. Now I need to tell the machine where Z0 is gonna be. So I'm gonna go over to my offset page and go to my work zero offset. If I like my Z, go to tool number one because that's the first tool that is gonna run. Start your spindle at a thousand RPMs. And then just bring that tool number one to the face of the part until you see a small chip come out. There I go. Remember you move away from the part, go in about 10 thousands, make a clean cut. So that's gonna be my zero. So now we're gonna go back to our offset page there. And we're gonna tell it now below the F4 key to do the C face measure. And when I do that, when I press the C face measure, it's gonna tell the machine that that's our new Z0. See the number change? So now the machine knows that that's origin right there. Um, and now, to actually get the right size, the right overall length of this part, you're gonna measure it. Right now this part is uh, five inches, 494, okay? We gotta look on our print. We're doing operation number 20. We're gonna look on our print to see what's gonna be the final size. So our final overall length, this is our dimension line, is gonna be five inches, 450. And right now our part is at five inches, 494. So we need to take, uh, what is it, 44 thousandths, you know, to make it five inches, 450. So we have, five inches 450 and you subtract five inches 494 it brings you to 44 thousands so that number is the number that you're going to input onto your work zero offset so that when it cuts the part it cuts it to the right size so i'm going to go negative my point zero forty four and when i face right on enter it's going to add it to this number and now it knows to move in that 44,000 so that it'll cut to the right size. And that's basically uh, a quick tutorial on how to Z and X using your probe. Thanks for watching.